mind-blowing facts. Actor Leonard Nimoy once gave a cab ride to John F. Kennedy. The future president told the aspiring actor, lots of competition in your business, just like in mine. Just remember there's always room for one more good one. In order to advertise their services, prostitutes in ancient Greece wore sandals that left the words follow me imprinted in the dirt as they walked. Nissan used the number 23 in motorsport racing because the number 2 translates to the and the number 3 translates to San, 23 translates to Nissan. Due to human efforts, the ozone layer will recover to 1980 levels by 2050 and will be fully repaired by 2070. When Edward I of England was coming back from the Ninth Crusade in 1272, he learned that his father had died and that he had been made the King of England. Instead of returning home to be crowned, Edward went on a leisurely trip to Italy and France for almost two years and only came back in 1274. Robin Williams attended Juilliard School but dropped out in his junior year because his teacher, a renowned actor slash producer, told him that there was nothing that he could learn from Juilliard that he didn't already know. Pumpkins, watermelons, avocados, and bananas are all berries while strawberries, raspberries, and blackberries are not. A project's bus factor denotes the number of people in a company who need to be run over by a bus to send the company into such disarray that it would not be able to proceed. There is a one-hole golf course just meters south of the Korean DMZ which is surrounded on three sides by minefields. There are reports that at least one shot exploded a land mine. Whale milk has 30-50% to 50 fat content and often has the consistency of a toothpaste. Will Purvis? who was convicted of murder in 1894 and had always maintained his innocence, told the jury he would live longer than a lot of them. He survived a hanging, was reincarcerated, and eventually pardoned and released. He died in 1938, three days after the last juror had died. The Wright brothers achieved flight in a plane that cost roughly $1,000 to build. In the race to fly, they beat Samuel Pierpont Langley, secretary of the Smithsonian, who failed to achieve a successful flight despite having $50,000 of government funding put toward his attempts. Frenchman Max Hervé George has an insurance policy that lets him trade stocks based on last week's prices. It's been called the stupidest contract ever signed and may end up with him owning the insurance company. The Colossus of Rhodes, one of the seven ancient wonders of the world, stood for a mere 50 years before it was destroyed by an earthquake. Its ruins stood and attracted visitors for way longer than the original statue, reportedly hundreds of years, before it was finally recycled for scrap metal, 